All right, guys, uh, U.S. Olympic trials right on the horizon for both of you. Uh, Jonathan, we'll start with you, and then Cody, you can answer as well. For you guys to be at this stage, uh, the, the biggest stage in American swimming, what does that really mean for you guys? I know a lot of hard work went into this, and now you get to swim uh, at, at a, a monumental meet. Well, uh, I mean, this is a meet that I've been dreaming about for the past 15 years of swimming. Uh, especially as like a high school senior coming into college, uh, Olympic trials is one of my main goals that I wanted to accomplish and qualify for. Um, so it's something that I've been working towards for a long time and to finally qualify. Um, it really means a lot that all that hard work has come through and I'll be so excited to go out there. Um, from his answer, I would have to say like the same thing and all the hard work has finally paid off because I've been doing competitive swimming for nine years now, and I, yeah, it's just a monumental thing that any swimmer wants to do, and it's just going to be an awesome experience to be able to witness and be able to be one of the swimmers down there in the pool to compete to be on the U.S. team. Uh, take us through that, because you mentioned you've done it for nine years, and, and Jonathan, i got to think you've done it for pretty much a, a similar time frame. I saw a stat where it's the top 0.58% of swimmers in the entire country that make it to trials. So what does it take to be in that top half of 1% that, uh, that, that gets to swim on this stage? What is it that you've gone through for the last decade of your life to, to put yourself in this position? Definitely self-motivation, self-discipline, uh, a lot of hard work, sleeping, um, eating healthy, like a lot of those things are what make you a great swimmer. And also being surrounded by great teammates because that's what motivates you to do well in practice and having great coaches and we have a great coaching staff. So that's really what strives you to be great. Both of you guys have known you were going to Olympic trials for at least a couple of months. Uh, so take us through what, uh, once the, the collegiate season was over and NCAAs and SECs were in the books, take us through what uh, what your training has been like and your preparation to make sure that you're swimming at your best when you get to Omaha? Well, in the Omaha, I'm only swimming one event, and that's the 100 backstroke. So ever since I got the cut, uh, this was the only meet that I have had my mind on. Um, all my training, uh, all my focus has been entirely going for this 100 backstroke. So I've been really able to kind of analyze my race and figure out what the little details that I need to work on and so I've been able to get a good couple of months of training and to just fix those few things so I can go and improve in Omaha. And you're swimming multiple events so I got to think that your training has been uh, a little more uh, a little more varied so, so what have you done over the last few months once college swimming was over to get ready for Omaha? Um, <laughs> we've done a lot. Uh, I'd have to say like switching off from swimming freestyle and I am because I'm swimming both those events. So having a main focus one day would be freestyle and then the next day would be I am. Uh, having multiple events, what, uh, you know, how do you make sure that, that you're swimming at your best, uh, you know, for, for all of those? Because a lot of the swimmers that are going, uh, you know, they might only be swimming one thing. You want to try to do well in, in multiple disciplines. So how do you make sure that you're ready to go on multiple days? Um, I'd have to say, like, basically all the training I've done is what's helping me to be able to have the endurance to do well in all three events. And also, I've been doing those events basically my whole life, so it shouldn't be a problem. I'll ask, uh, I'll ask both of you guys, uh, you know, you probably never swam in front of this many people, uh, sold out 18,000 seat arena, so when you do get there, on the day of, uh, of your event, you're ready to jump in the pool for the first time. How do you stay calm? And also, what do you think will be uh, the emotions that go into that race? Well, this moment is one that, as I've said, is something that I've dreamed about for over the past 10 years. Um, when I'm training, when, uh, when it gets tough, this has been what I thought about, about being in the arena with 18,000, everyone screaming. Um, you know, and so part of me feels like I'm prepared and that I'll be ready because I've put in the training and I've put in the work. And then part of me just knows that once I get there, there's nothing that can prepare you for that. That kind of atmosphere, um, it's going to be intense. It's going to be awesome. 
Cody, same to you. Um, I'd have to say the same thing, basically. <laughs> like, just the atmosphere itself is going to be a whole new level, and none of us have experienced that. So I know we're all physically ready, but we also have to be mentally ready, and that's definitely the hardest thing being a swimmer is that you have to really be mentally focused and, yeah. Best of luck to both of you guys, and uh, we're certainly proud of you back in Columbia. Thank, Thank you. you.